Hey guys, so I wanted to get your opinion on something. I'm looking to upgrade the cooling on this GTX 460. This is a non-reference version from Pallet. And uh, it's a Sonic Edition. It comes with a little better cooler than stock. Little better cooler than stock. But I am going to be replacing this with the Shaman. However, I want something a little bit better for the VRMs. The fan will be blowing air over them, and the heat sinks that are included for the RAM modules, I'm sure there's a few extra that I can use to cover this, but I want to go with some a little bit different, so I'm looking at these here. I'm thinking about they're using two of these, sanding them, lapping them down until they're perfectly flat smooth and then applying those here which it should it'll cover almost all of it there'll still be a tad bit of them that isn't covered or I can cut this bad boy down and I think I have two of these that are identical and I can do the same to this and basically you know measure it to fit cut it the width I need I mean I'm just wondering, in your guys' opinion, do you think I, I mean, what do you guys think I need as far as cooling? I'm on to overclock this thing as high as I possibly can on air cooling, and I like to overclock everything, you know, not just the memory or not just the core, because the core and the shader are linked. Uh, I want to overclock everything to its max, and have plenty of power from the Corsair 750 power supply. And uh, the shaman's gonna. Here it is, right here. Shaman will provide plenty of cooling for the GPU. I just need uh, more cooling for these guys right here, the VRMs. Or MOSFETs, I believe these are just VRMs. Because these things get pretty warm. And these RAM modules here, I'm gonna do my best to use the probably going to use the supplied ones for now but I'm going to work on depending on how the clearances are after I get this all installed I'll see what the clearances are and I'll see if I can uh, get some better heat sinks for the memory because they're only one sided there's none on the back but there's a few chips here so I'm going to be able to put some heat sinks on there because I got plenty of uh, plenty of heat sinks here so just let me know guys what you think would be adequate cooling here. So that's about it.